if you've not heard about uh, a worm that is infecting, uh, uh, going around the world, infecting millions and millions of computers, this is a bad one, uh, is called the Conficker worm, that's C-O-N-F-I-C-K-E-R worm. And last report, a company called F-Secure estimates at least 9 million PCs have been infected with this. And, uh, and that's just up from like about 2.5 million uh, in a very, very short time. Now, Conficker is actually a deviant of what's uh, another worm called a, a down and up uh, worm. But essentially, once the machine gets infected with this worm, it can, it's downloaded, gets installed, and then uh, it uh, directs to attacker-controlled websites, and it's just really bad there. It was, uh, Microsoft uh, released a patch last week, uh, an update to their uh, malicious software uh, removal tool. If you haven't applied that, make sure you get it. Uh, the Internet Storm Center, which tracks, his, uh, tracks these viruses, infections, uh, say that uh, the Conficker worm can be spread in three different ways. Uh, first, it attacks a vulnerability in the Microsoft uh, server, um, server service, and computers without the October patch uh, can be remotely attacked and taken over. Second, Conficker uh, can attempt or guess uh, brute force pass uh, administrator passwords used by local networks. And third, the worm infects removable devices and network shares with an auto run file that spreads it and those can come on USB devices and that sort of thing. So make sure that you've got the latest security patches and it's probably a wise idea to disable auto run on your workstations. That way somebody sticks in a you know, a USB key or whatever, iPod or whatever, or text cube on there, just won't automatically take off and start running and spreading this bad, bad worm. This is a big one. The real question is how dangerous the Conficker worm is. I've read that uh, it may turn out to be more of a dud than anything else. Uh, it's certainly not a proof of concept type thing going on. I mean, this thing is really serious, uh, and so you need to be prepared. So make sure that you use that to uh, get the latest Microsoft software remo uh, uh, removal tool, malicious software removal tool, and make sure that you've got all your patches up to date. And I think just as good practice, you might want to consider uh, disabling the auto run on your workstations at the office.